Hey, it's Russ from Pilates Guy, and today I'm talking to you about neutral spine. Um, we'll go into a little bit about imprint uh, as well. So I'll take you through what neutral is, why we look to work from neutral as much as possible, and, and how you find neutral, how you stay neutral. Um, so I'll take you through that with some examples. Uh, and we'll also talk about imprint, which we particularly use in Pilates, not really relevant otherwise. Uh, and then we'll talk about how that is affected by some postural issues as well. I shouldn't take us long to just go through it. So first thing I'll talk to you about is what neutral is. So you'll hear about neutral, whether you're doing like work in the gym, squats, deadlifts. Sometimes if you're just lifting or if you've got a manual job where they talk about correct lifting and things like that, this all comes back to a neutral spine. So neutral spine is 30% stronger than a flex spine. So a flex spine is where we're kind of bending. So if you're doing your squats, like this or your deadlifts rounding the back that's all pretty bad for the back the white the spines that are weakened state can cause you all sorts of injuries and pain so whether you train whether you do that kind of work or whether you're just even sitting down in an office if you're slumped over your desk it's gonna be really bad for your posture it's gonna be really bad for your back um, so neutral is good whether you're sitting down whether you're doing manual work whether you're doing um, you know, weight training that sort of thing so when you're squatting you do want that neutral spine from the neck to the tailbone if you're doing those deadlifts sorry if you're doing your squats you still want the chin tucked you want this neutral spine um, to make sure we're strong to make sure we've got those natural curves of the spine when we're stood up if you're in neutral you could draw a line from the ear to the shoulder to the hip to the knee to the to the ankle and it would be a reasonably straight plumb line to show that we're in good posture we've got good alignment we've got our neutral spine hopefully neutral pelvis which we do lose a lot because of um, our in our society we sit down a lot and we get a permanent posterior uh, anterior pelvic tilt so this is where it tilts forwards you get a big arch in the lower back it puts a lot more pressure on the spine so the benefits of new working from neutral is you put a lot less pressure it's stronger the spine is stronger less likely to get injured but also you put a lot less pressure on all the supporting tissues tendons ligaments the discs everything else so if you do have a anterior pelvic tilt you're sticking your tailbone out you've got that big arch in the lower back you put a lot more pressure on the lower back a lot more wear and tear on the body so that's why neutral is important it's safe less likely to get injured less wear and tear on the body basically so um, that's what neutral is um, and that's why we try to work from neutral um, i'll give you a few examples of neutral now so standing i've done we're tall we're in that good posture we've got our neutral spine natural curves through the back so you've got your natural curve at the neck and your natural curve at the lumbar going inwards and then you've got the outward curve around the shoulders and the thoracic um, and down towards that tailbone and, and the uh, coccyx area as well where it starts to come back out again so um, the other times that this is going to apply, particularly for Pilates, is where we're either working on all fours. So we might be doing push-ups or something like that. Um, we might be doing swimming or we might be doing our push-ups or um, various other exercises from this position. Um, and it doesn't necessarily mean your shoulders have to be the same height as, as your hips, for, as you'll see here. But what we want is that natural line, just like when we were stood up. So the chin is tucked, you've got a nice long neck because the neck is obviously included in this as well. And you've got that line that goes through the body, pretty neutral. So we're not arching the back and we're not rounding the back. Hopefully that makes sense. So we always want that neutral here because it's safer. And as we build that stability, when we move from this position, the muscles get stronger and stabilize the spine in neutral more. Um, and we tend to work from that, that good position. On our side, when we're doing sideline work, a lot of the time we're down here, we want everything nicely stacked on top of each other. We want our neutral spine and we want to maintain that even when we're like lifting legs or both legs or whatever we're doing from here. We want that neutral spine through the neck all the way down to that tailbone, neutral. Uh, the same, you'd imagine it's the same as if you were standing up. The other time we're lying on our front at the time it's important. When we typically lie supine, um, sorry, prone on our front, you'll get a big arch in that lower back when you relax, your tailbone starts to stick out. And for a lot of us, we're gonna to need to tuck the tailbone ever so slightly, reducing the arch in that lower back slightly. So you're almost pushing your pubic bone, hip bones in towards the mat slightly, trying to maintain that neutral from here. So we're looking for the same thing, the same alignment, whether we're standing on our fronts, on our sides, um, in four point kneeling or when we're on our back and this is in Pilates where it's important and where we might imprint as well so when we are on our backs we always look for our imprint so just to go back to standing when we look to try and get into neutral standing I in Pilates will get you to do pelvic tilts tucking the tailbone under and sticking the tailbone out 
and we just basically will make this really big and then we make it smaller each time i did a video on pelvic tilts last week and we bring ourselves to neutral that's the point of doing these other than warming up the lower back and being good for mobility is we settle down to neutral where those hip bones are in line pubic bone and hip bones are roughly level will show us that we've got a neutral pelvis and probably a neutral spine if we roll the shoulders make ourselves tall lengthen through the neck then we're in neutral we need to do that on the floor as well so when we're on our backs we tend to Position, tucking the tailbone under and sticking the tailbone out. If you had your hands and your lower back, you'd be squashing your hands and then you'd be arching, so the back would be arching. So we go through those two extremes and we make it smaller each time until you come to a natural stop, somewhere between those two. When you take your hands under your lower back, they shouldn't meet in the middle. There should be a bit of space under there, but it's just the natural curve of the back. So the hands shouldn't meet in the middle, but there's a bit of tiny bit of space. Now with Pilates, we do a lot of exercises when we've got our legs in tabletop. This immediately puts pressure on the back. And when we're moving our legs by either doing toe taps or one leg stretch or double leg stretch particularly, your back isn't supposed to change position. And when you see people in HIIT classes doing this kind of stuff, you know, doing whatever exercise they're doing or doing their um, rotation um, they'll, you, they'll have their hands under their bum to keep their lower back down like this you'll see this a lot in these classes people doing double leg lifts with their hands underneath their bum well their core should be strong enough to maintain neutral without having to use their hands so you need neutral, neutral when we're doing these exercises the back doesn't change position once you're set in neutral and you fix it in place using your deep postural muscles your transverse abdominis um, your your spinal muscles, the multifidus, will be stabilizing here. Um, the uh, rectus abdominis will have a little bit of a part to play, but particularly it's that transverse abdominis. Your obliques will work hard as well. All these muscles around the core will be working really hard to keep your spine neutral when you're working. If you don't, and you're letting that back arch and move, so arching and flattening as we're doing these exercises, typically when those both those legs go away, a big gap comes under here, and you bring it back and it closes. It's really unsafe for the back, and it doesn't we're trying to strengthen so that is why we need to work from neutral now the only caveat to that would be when we are we do have back problems it's still advisable at the moment to work from imprint whether that's going to carry on being the advice um old school pilates joseph pilates pilates would have been everything from imprint flat back where you're tucking your tailbone and there's no space under that lower back so different to neutral you're pushing that lower back into the mat that's how they used to teach it and they realized that it actually isn't optimum neutral is optimum but i worked out of imprint for 18 months because of my back pain and it's safer for the spine if we keep that lower back imprinted it's going to put less pressure on whatever injury you've got so when we do have back problems it's still advisable to work from imprint so you find imprint where you tuck the tailbone under flattening the lower back we all get hip rib connection here sliding bottom ribs to hips really feel those cores engage and if you select imprint again if you have got an injury and you're working from imprint you don't let that change okay you keep that in imprint you don't go between imprint and neutral whatever you're doing whether it's your double leg or whatever else that doesn't change so imprint is safer less likely to cause you pain but we should all aspire to work from neutral so now i work from neutral but for a long time i didn't because of back problems so we we work from neutral or imprint but everybody should try to work towards um, neutral if we can now some people will have postural issues so they'll have lordosis where you've always got a really big deep arch under the lower back and things you can do are roll a towel up and put it under your lower back and just try and close your lower back down a little bit by tucking the tailbone a bit bringing you somewhere closer to neutral and that will help you can use wedges underneath your bum so you can use squat wedges underneath your bum um, to just help you stay neutral rather than having that big arch and just keep reminding yourself gradually over time you should be able to reduce that deep arch the other thing is if we've got a flat back anyway and we need to try and encourage ourselves into that neutral spine however we don't want to hold a position that's really painful for us so we do need to, you if you've got any complex issues with the back it would be worth working one-to-one -one with somebody to find some exercises which are going to help you improve the arch in the lower back could not correct it because there's no perfect posture but get it closer to normal ranges so you can work from neutral pain-free activating the right muscles and get a really strong core so that's mainly about neutral a little bit about imprint and how we use it in Pilates, um, a lot of my clients have got lordosis is the most common with a really deep arch and lower back. So a few of my clients have got that uh, and they might use a wedge or something like that. But over time, we want to try and 
improve that alignment and get them working from from neutral basically so in a nutshell um, that is um, neutral and imprint why we do it what it looks like what it is how to find it the one thing I will say is we don't obviously do all exercises neutral your spine needs to go through all those movements so we do need to flex the spine we do need rounding of the spine we need extension we need lateral flexion extension and rotation you need all those things which are going to take you in part out of neutral um, and that's fine but from certain positions and certain exercises especially when we're loading the body um, it's safer to work from that that neutral but there are exercises we'll do that will take us well out of neutral and we just do it properly with control and strength and on the most part we're going to be absolutely fine it is important to do those movements so hopefully that's a helpful video let me know if you've got any questions or anything at all please get in touch with me uh, and otherwise thanks for watching and speak to you again soon